hi there once again welcome back to my youtube channel in today's tutorial i'm going to show you how to generate a very simple multiplication table using python so we're actually going to achieve this using python loop okay so all we need to do is to do use python loop to generate this all we need to do is to just enter just in a number integer value when you hit enter then it's going to generate the multiplication table for you let's jump right into this so i'm just going to rewrite this code so now i'm going to actually explain the entire code let me just delete this okay so at the moment what we need to do is we're going to write a very simple code to achieve that now we want to ask our user to first enter a value so our user need to first enter a value but let's just say number and we're going to use the input function so basically this is going to prompt the user to enter a value so let's just ask the user to enter a number to generate a multiplication table so let's say enter a number to generate multiplication table so basically this is what we're going to ask the user now after doing that we're going to use a for loop so we're going to say for counts which is just any variable for count in I'm going to specify the range and the range is going to be the the length of the multiplication table we want to generate we want it to start from one and then end at let's say 20. so if you want it to end at 20 then you need to make this one 21 okay so this is what we're going to do for count in range we specify our range so the multiplication table is going to start from one and then end at what 20. okay so if i made it 21 but it's basically going to end at 20. so we'll bring colon and then we'll move to the next line so this way we're going to put our print out so we're going to use the print function here and we're going to write some few printout statements all we're going to do first is so generate the number that the user entered okay let's bring comma here and i'll bring the multiplication sign okay so we're just going to put this into either double quote or single quote so i'm just going to do this like this okay we're just going to do this like this kind of leave your spacing or just provide some spacing there now all i need to do next is to bring another comma after that and then bring the count so this is the numbers that will be generated from the list that we provided the range so this is going to be the numbers that will be generated bring another comma and then i'm now going to introduce another quote and bring my equal to symbol finally we're actually going to provide the multiplication of the two numbers this is going to be the number the user will enter plus the number that will be generated from our range Okay, so we're going to use the multiplication sign here, which is actually going to be the asterisk and then times the count. Now, if I run this, it's actually going to generate error because we need to actually force this number, the number that is being generated or entered by the user. We need to force that number to an integer. So we're going to do what we call casting. We need to put this into brackets and then force that number to be an integer value. So we're just going to use the int over here. So meaning this number that will be generated by user will be now be an integer value. Now when we run this code, because we're asking the person to put in some information, it's actually going to prompt the person. Let me leave some space here. So now run this, you can see enter a number to generate multiplication table. So now if I enter 5 and I hit enter, you can see I have my number, my multiplication table generated 5 times 1, 5 times 2, 10, 5 times 3, 15, 5 times 2, 4, 20 in that order so you can see this ended at what exactly 20. if i want something longer i just have to modify this let's say i want to generate this up to 30. all i have to do is to change this to what 31 and then rerun my code again and then put in any number here if you want to generate 45 times two, we just put it over there and you can see it's going to start from 45 times one all the way up to what 40 times 30 which is 1350. so this is very simple code and i'll be doing more programming code coming up so subscribe and don't forget to turn on post notification so you don't miss my future videos so this is just a very simple program that generates a multiplication table like for more and then don't forget to comment leave the comment at the comment section of this video till i come away again bye bye